This is Dr. Ana Castilla and I am the orthodontist here at Castilla Orthodontics. Today I am going to be talking to you about TADS or TADs. TADS stands for Temporary Anchorage Device and no discussion of adult orthodontic treatment would be complete without mentioning them. They are sometimes also known as mini implants, but they are not to be confused with the regular dental implants that are used to replace missing teeth. However, like dental implants, TADS are made of biocompatible titanium alloy. So what does a TAD look like? Well, a TAD looks like a miniature screw. Um, and I know that sounds super invasive, but in fact it is very tiny. Um, we are talking about a millimeter and a half in diameter, and as far as the length, um, it's anywhere between 6, 8, or at the most 10 millimeters long. They are very, very tiny, and they are placed in the jawbone uh, to serve as a special type of anchorage around which uh, teeth can move, and you can do difficult tooth movements. Uh, some of the movements that TADs are used for are closing up a big space, intruding molars, getting rid of gummy smiles, etc. There are many applications for TADs, but usually they are reserved for movements that are a little bit more challenging. Uh, the TADs can be placed either by your orthodontist, excuse me, or by an oral surgeon if your orthodontist has not been trained to place TADs. Here at Castilla Orthodontics, we place our own TADs in our office, so if your treatment plan requires a TAD, you won't need to go anywhere else to, to get it placed. It will definitely be placed in-house. So what if your treatment plan includes placement of a TAD? Uh, what is getting a TAD like? Actually, getting a TAD is pretty simple and removing it is even easier. When it's time for you to get your TAD, you will simply come in um, at our office. We would bring you in and numb the area where the TAD is going to go. As I mentioned before, the TAD gets placed in the jawbone, um, and this could be in the roof of the mouth or in the jawbone in between roots of your teeth. It just really depends on your case and the type of movement that is needed. But either way, the area where the tad will be placed will be numbed either with some local anesthetic or sometimes even with some topical gel and um, you won't feel anything. The tad is inserted within a few minutes and, um, and after that you are ready to go. Um, recovery time, uh, the only thing you might feel a little tenderness in your gum area where the tad was placed the night of, but absolutely nothing that will require anything more than uh, Tylenol or ibuprofen for you to take. It's actually pretty, pretty simple and not much different than getting uh, a filling on your tooth. So hopefully this has shed some light on tads and what it's like to get them and what they're used for. But as always, if you have any questions about them or really anything else, you can just give us a call at 503-399-0721. Thank you.